President Shavkat Mirziyoyev held a meeting on full utilization of capacities of districts and cities of Tashkent region. The meeting held in a critical tone listed unused reserves and passive behavior of district administrators. With the dynamic development of capital city, the surrounding regional districts are falling behind in pace. For example, in Tashkent, Zengia, Taiki, Brai, Yukhara, Chirchik and Urta Chirchik districts, the volume of industrial production is several times less than in the neighboring districts of the capital. A number of small entrepreneurs have stopped their activities. At 29 large enterprises, as well as in cities of Beka, Bat and Yangyul, production has decreased. Despite the large amount of agricultural land, production remains low. The potential of district is not converted into economic effect, as the city mayor lacked initial to identify and utilize points of growth. Some of them treat this issue superficially, do not work on supporting entrepreneurs and increasing the number of jobs. At the meeting, responsible persons of the cities and districts of the region were warned about the necessity of changes in their activities. Otherwise, the issue of their compliance with their position will be considered. The points of growth were analyzed at the meeting. In particular, in parking district, it is proposed to repair roads, leading to objects of tourist interest, to organize the movement of minibuses, to locate land to entrepreneurs for construction of trade and service points along the roads. In Yangul district, it is planned to create an empty building, a small industrial zone specializing in production of food and sanitation products. In Chinas district, there are opportunities to build shopping and entertainment complex and modern fish market, expand trade and services along the roads, and increase the number of greenhouses in private households. The head of state identified measures to improve the economy of the district. Responsible persons have been instructed to analyze other districts of the region, identify additional points of growth, and increase sources of income. A number of plans have been developed for the advancement of the region. In particular, an Uzbek-Hungarian industrial zone will be created in Ahangaran district, where projects worth $100 million will be located. In an Grand Free Economic Zone, projects worth $400 million will be implemented for production of household appliances, rolled metal products, fruits and vegetable processing, and in El Tech Industrial Technopark, projects worth of $260 million will be implemented. The meeting addressed the issues of acceleration of economic economic and social projects by attracting foreign direct investments. It was emphasized that it is planned to gradually transfer industrial enterprises from the capital outside its borders, which will create great opportunity for Tashkent region. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev met with advisor on economic development, good governance and international cooperation Suma Chakrabadi. They reviewed the implementation of strategy Uzbekistan 2030 as whole and the state program on its implementation this year. Discussed issues of intensifying work within the negotiation process on Uzbekistan's succession to World Trade Organization, including the harmonization of national regulatory framework in accordance with the requirements of organization. The site emphasized the need to continue concrete practical measures on drinking water supply projects, improvement of school infrastructure, prevention of oncological diseases, improvement of quality and ensuring competition in public service. A special topic of the meeting was the enhancement of the investment attractiveness of Uzbekistan, including through the strengthening guarantees of production of investors' rights. In this context, the advisor proposed specific mechanisms for resolving commercial disputes, considering the best international practices.